Hello and welcome to Tellin' Times, episode 3. I'm Jeremy, and I'm taking a look at the classic MMORPG Vanguard Saga of Heroes. This is all about Vanguard, every episode. This is our third week. We're doing a um, weekly podcast, video cast, releasing it every Sunday. So you can uh, subscribe if you want to follow along. In this episode, I want to just take a look at some guild castles and talk a bit about faction coins. So, a player was kind enough to uh, take me on a tour of their guild castle, as you can see, it's down there in the distance. We're gonna pop in for a visit. You can see some other player houses. That one's unfinished. Looks like some small houses here that are finished. This area in Kalia um, doesn't have a large amount of built houses. So this is a guild hall. As you can see, it's pretty awesome. I'm going to go tour it here. Just take it all in. That's pretty cool with the moon <laughs> rising right above it. Cool, cool. Okay, our host is ready and Now there's small and large guild halls. Basically, um, they serve to hold furniture, so you can decorate them. As you can see, they decorated this up with a bunch of beds, men's barracks, and you can also increase your storage basically. Guild halls of work as storage. Uh, small I think gives you like six or eight in large chests that is. And large gives you like twelve chests. I don't know how many each chest holds though. Imagine it's a good amount. Here we are in like a courtyard area. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. This is uh, the Christmas room, I guess, or just the flower room. This is very cool. So you can see what players can do when they just want to go crazy. That's, that's pretty awesome. And the, the person who decorated this, Denali, Danali, said it's, uh, it's unfinished, so... If things don't look as uh, decorative as they could be, it's just because of that. The main hall. This really is cool. This is huge. I wonder, I can't wait to uh, check out the uh, Kojani guild halls because they have a, an eastern flair to them. I take it this is the library. You know what Vanguard needs? Vanguard needs player-made books. This uh, 
Oh, dining hall. This is awesome. Some roast pig on the fire. This area cannot be decorated. It's, an, it's a uh, looks like a little outside deck sort of area on the second floor. Outside deck area. Wow, it, it just keeps going on and on. There's another place over there I don't think we've been in. This seems to circle up all the way another balcony. Awesome. Yeah, they're definitely going to need to make these outside areas alterable so you can burnish them. Because it's just uh, too cool. So these are some of the unfinished rooms as far as decorations go. Man, I love the lighting in this game, how it changes. Feels like we're heading into a dungeon. more to look at. Kind of looks like they blocked this area off for whatever reason. Maybe they have their, their uh, storage chest. <laughs> Our secret room. Oh wow, uh, <laughs> their secret room. It's neat to see that you can do, uh, you can overlap the furniture and move it around similar to you the way you do it in uh, EverQuest 2. So this was the large guild hall. Very cool. Have to thank Hecaton. Hecaton chair. I'll just say Hecaton. Heca. Thanks to Heca and um, Denali who decorated. 
probably both the guild new genesis. Very, very cool. We may soon be seeing many more guild halls and housing springing up this summer when uh, Vanguard goes free to play. Because a, a swarm of people may uh, start playing. And they're gonna want they're gonna want their housing and uh, their guild halls too. I don't know if we were up here. And, oh, I see where it just goes back up around to a. Uh, so that about does that. Um, Let me move on to the um, second part of this. I want to talk about factions. Show me one of the house types as well, huh? So let's uh, change this up. We'll just make this all about housing and, and guild housing. We'll wait until he gets down here and he'll show, off, show us off one of the houses. where I'm at. Oh, he already took off. He's over here. So this is a tier 5 Kallion, Kallion two-story with front door. No decorations. So let's get a look at the... So this is one of the houses that you could get for yourself. Vanguard. Wow. These aren't... I don't know what these are. Maybe a glitch. Oh, he stores crafting stuff here. They put a lot of great... Um, into the designs of all three styles of uh, buildings for all three continents. Boy, he's really helpful. As he says, these can hold up to 250 items and five chests. Not bad, not bad. Plenty of room to decorate and plenty of stuff to do. So there we go. Episode 3 of Telling Times. Taking a look at the, um, housing area in Calia. If you look on the map, we'll see where we're at here. We are right here. Right here. You can see my little uh, triangle spinning around. So this is, this is a huge housing area. Uh, as you can see, not too many people. There's, there's one, two, three houses it looks like, and there's one, and then his. And uh, 
there's all kinds of areas up top uh, on the hills uh, that are just barren right now. So in a, a future episode of Telling Times, we'll just take a look at the other designs, the Kajani and the Thestern style. Hopefully we can take a look at the uh, the uh, large guild halls. Some, hopefully some guild has a large Kajani and large Thestron, I'm hoping. Uh, because I've seen pictures of them and they look very, very cool. Uh, especially, I'm especially interested in, in all things Eastern, so I'm especially looking forward to finding a Kajani, large Kajani guild hall. But these do take a long time to get. You have to talk to the leader, the NPC leader of the continent, who sends you on a mission to collect hundreds upon hundreds of items. Then he gives you permission, and then you can actually start building, which means collecting and crafting hundreds and hundreds, actually thousands um, of items to build the guild hall, especially a large one. I think he t takes 9,000 of just one type of... The, it's the largest amount of any single item you need, but it's like 9,000 of, of the bricks or something like that. So, and I think the small guild halls take something like four or five thousand of the of the bricks, in comparison. But yeah, it takes a long time. It takes thirty platinum to buy the the plot, uh, and it doesn't matter the location. It's always the same price. You buy, pay thirty platinum, which is a lot, uh, for the plot, and then it's like fifty gold a week for just for the upkeep. So it's. A, it's expensive. You better have a guild who can keep, keep paying it. And, you know, people really... What's cool about this is it's open guild housing. It's not instanced. We just ran here from the open world, and here it is. Bam. Which is so very cool. I don't, I, I don't know any other MMO that does that at all. And it's really cool. But, I mean, because you, anybody can just run through the housing, and if another person left open p permission, which I don't see why you wouldn't want to, you want to show off your house, and they can't, it's not like they can steal the stuff. So, uh, you know, you can just run along and start touring houses. Sort of like in EverQuest 2, but uh, EverQuest 2 is instanced, but they do a good job of letting you go to, like, find an address, a city door, and then choose between a list, and if people have their house open to the public, you can visit those. Uh, I will be probably doing videos of those as well, so... But, um, just, this is getting overly long now, I think, so... Telling Times, Episode 3, uh, it's not as exciting. I had to film, I had to record this late at night. And so I had to be a bit quiet, and I couldn't be as exuberant as I wanted to be. Um, and it was very freeform. So uh, let me know what you feel about that. Uh, I want to know, you can find me on Twitter. I'm uh, at Jeremy underscore Stratton. And uh, you can also leave a comment. I'll put my blog address, you know, so you can either visit, you can either write me a message via my blog or leave a comment on YouTube. Uh, all the information will be in the description. Let me know if you'd rather me structure the structure it more, leave it more freeform. I'm trying to structure it. This is just an oddball episode of being kind of unstructured. So uh, next week I'm going to have a lot more structure, and uh, I, I'll be able to uh, film it without any distractions, and uh, I'll be able to be more organized and concise. So with that, um, I'm just going to take off and go ahead and subscribe if you like. This comes out every Sunday, so we'll see you next Sunday.